Grant, it is Sunday. Happy Easter to everyone. Hope you guys are staying safe. Hope you guys aren't also um, getting together because, you know, you shouldn't be because uh, I believe it's what you can't if it's more than 20 people or some shit like that. But you know what? Hope you guys enjoying it with your loved ones. Hope everything's going well. Uh, you know, just do, uh, I don't lately have not been doing a, a podcast episode, but to be honest, it's because of work. Let's just say I may have to be work, uh, put, uh, doing like 80, 80 hour weeks for the next month, month and a half till this whole Corona thing goes off. So, um, I'm going to, I will try to do episodes at least, uh, uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. But as of right now, I am actually doing this episode at work. <laughs> so I got this whole setup. I got this whole setup at work right now. So just with the laptop, my uh, other equipment that I have. So, you know, um, it's just gotta, gotta keep on doing it, man. Uh, this is one thing, like I said before, sometimes you just gotta jump into it. And honestly, this is one thing I do want to dedicate my time to. So, um, not only that, it's because I also believe, uh, we, we should always share the knowledge no matter with who with, with what you know don't always try to get paid for knowledge you know if um how can i say um if no one knows you no one does this and you know and you have shit to offer some people can actually you know use what, what you have to say you know especially i, I noticed that with um some of my videos that i post on um instagram also uh, uh snapchat you know a lot of people sometimes i'll get some feedback that you know whatever i said that with that with that day or in certain times, it helps people get through it. And to be honest, man, that I feel that that's what we should all do. To be honest, you know, you know, until I get heard by everybody, maybe I can make money off of it. Maybe one day. But if I don't, man, this is just something I love to, I want to do. I want to get used to doing because, to be honest, I don't think knowledge should ever be charged. You know, if you create a book, different. You know, I used to think that yeah, I'd like to create a book so I can give it out for free, but then. It just loses money because I have to dump money and I'm going to give it away unless I do, you know, unless you do like it's for promotion or something. But, you know, I always say don't 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 always try to charge so much. I feel like when you see those some some like books that are 30 bucks, 40 bucks, I'm like, dude, cause that's fucking that's way too much. If you charge 10 or 15 bucks for a book that, that that for me, I feel like it's fair. It's a good price. It's not too high. It is perfect. And, you know, you get you'll get people who want to read it. But uh Let's get off that damn topic. Yeah, so happy Easter, guys. Be safe out there. Don't do anything crazy. Don't drink and drive. And make sure you wash your hands. You know, and let's, let's protect everybody, not just ourselves. But, um, yeah, just here at work right now. But uh, here's some things I want to come up with, especially with the whole coronavirus. Uh, one thing I was reading on, um, I don't know if you guys ever saw it or not, but did you guys see... Uh, uh, it was video of uh, the golf cartel handing out food to to the people to certain in certain regions, especially in a place called Tamaulipas, um, with food and other other supplies like protective gear and all that. I don't know how if how accurate everything on these reports are, but if it is, that's actually pretty cool. You know, hopefully everybody can can do that. But to be honest, I, you know. As the as the Greeks say, um, or as a I forgot I forgot what the saying goes, but it says, uh, "Fear the Greeks, even if they bring gifts." <laughs> but on um, other note, let's make sure, man. Especially for me right now, uh, doing my hours at work and everything, man. Let's make sure keep doing your work. Don't be afraid to to hustle. Don't be afraid to to put in that grind, that overnight grind. Don't be afraid to do any of that. You know, if you got to work, if you got to sacrifice sleep for a year, two years, three years, man, you got to do that shit. No one's going to do it for you. You know, no one's going to do anything for you. You got to fucking do all that work yourself. You know, how bad do you want it? That's on you. You know, Elon Musk, uh, I think it was Elon Musk who said, um, you can't change the world on a 40, 40 hour work week or something like that or if you really want to do something especially towards your dream or your whatever your goal is it's going to require more than 40 hours a week it's going to require overtime it's going to require maybe sometimes sleeping on a couch maybe sometimes sleeping in the office or sleeping at the desk or sleeping in your car 
a lot of things it, it takes sacrifice and it, and i feel uh, with life it, it life really comes to us and really tells us this is your dream this is your goal it's not going to give it to you till you till you prove that you're worthy of what you want you know at least that's what i that, that, those are my beliefs you know i always say i got my own beliefs you guys don't have to you know take my my words but you know i feel we should all everybody should always create their own their own beliefs as long as, as it's not hurting people you know robbing people killing people or anything like that as long as you have your own beliefs it, you know work to be a better person you know you don't have to believe in working 80 hours 90 hours to do this if you're happy doing the 40 then you're happy that's not, you know that's you you gotta keep doing you but at the same but for me I know what I'm trying to accomplish. I know what I have to do. And it's going to require that overtime work, that those late nights, early mornings, you know. But uh, I'm ready for this fucking sh- I'm ready for this for, for this hustle, man. I'm ready for the long run. I know, it's, I know it's coming my way. I already know it. I feel it. But it's going to take time. It's going to take time. And uh, you know what? While God and, and uh, life gives me the grace of this life, as long as they uh, give me the chance to live every day, to wake up, I'm going to keep pushing for that. And also, you know, I can't leave it always up to God. I got to make sure I do my part. You know, I can't leave it to God to to, to be healthy, to stay healthy. That's on me eating the right food and doing all that, all, all that other stuff, you know, because he didn't give me life. But it's up to me whether I want that life. But um, one thing that I've been doing lately right now, uh, I've been kind of reading a lot right now. I'm almost done with the, a book. Of a person who I, f- I didn't like, I don't like, especially when uh, the I believe it was a whole hurricane in Texas and all that. Um, he didn't open his church up for two weeks, and and there's other reasons too. But I, my thing is that especially that I've learned through reading his book, it's called The Power of I Am by Joel Osteen. Just because you don't like a person, or just because you don't like someone, or you just you really don't get along with them. I'm going to be honest. It does not mean you can still not learn from that person. I believe that if we showed some some sort of compassion, at least try to listen to a person, to what they have to say, we can learn something. We can learn something. Just because you don't get along with someone doesn't mean you, you should not listen to them or see their point of view or what they have to offer. Because, you know, as the saying, as the saying goes, you can find the diamond in the rough. You know, so I believe that in general, you know, that can that can make us more comp- more compassionate, more loving, more forgiving, more of that as long as we can learn how to converse with somebody and not let our emotions get the best of us. That That's the that's a big one. A lot of us let the emotions really get to us, let uh, really let our emotions get the best of us in certain situations, whether it's anger, whether it's frustration, whether it's um jealousy whether anything you know we, we we're all we're all receptive to that you know no one's perfect other people are more calm other people are very angry and they work hard to control their anger but again a lot of people go through 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 that especially they especially they work harder to to control their anger knowing how they are as a person it says a lot about somebody if you're willing to to go against what, how you are as a person just to be a better person and you go through all that work, through all different different channels or different things you do. Maybe you always have a stress ball with you, so the times when you're angry, you always squeeze it, so you don't say what you what you what really you don't want to say or what you're gonna regret on saying later. I'm a big big believer in that, and um, but um, a lot of things that uh that that adds to that, especially when it comes to anger emotions. There's a lot of things that can play to that. You know, it's not just how we are. Sometimes it's, you know, the food we eat, to be honest. You know, you give your, your body shitty food. Next, you know, you're going to be feeling like shit. When you feel like shit, you're more receptive to be angry. You're more receptive to be sad, depressed. You know, also, uh, maybe if you don't sleep as much, you're also receptive to, to, to be in a bad mood all the time or to get angry faster or depression or uh, anxiety can also happen. Especially for me when, uh, you know. When I when I figured out I had anxiety, especially you know, for the longest time, I would have heart palpitations. You know, I'd feel like my, my heartbeat wasn't wasn't the same. 
wasn't wasn't regular in that i thought it was me being fat to be honest i thought i was like god damn i'm getting fatter man my, my heart's fucking acting up you know i thought that was just me i was like damn i gotta start running but then i started uh, realizing that it was in certain times and, and and then i started doing more where it wasn't that it was heart palpitations which is one of the symptoms of anxiety and one thing that um especially now with the uh, with the whole anxiety thing especially on my weekends my weekends i don't i really don't sleep as much and especially now it's hard for me to sleep because i'm doing double double shifts tuesday thursday saturday sunday in those days i'm putting it i'm working i'm i'm working like 16 hour days literally working 16 hour days and um uh some days I get off at 10 to still wake up at six it, it starts to you know yeah I get, I get off at 10 but you guys have to also understand i drive i have to I have like a 40 minute drive and as soon as i get home i have to shower because i like showering before i go to sleep rather than showering in the morning you know so if I get off at 10, I'm most likely not going to go to bed until 11.30, 11.40. And then I still have to wake up to be at work at 6, but I wait, I don't wake up at 6. I wake up like at 4.50, 5 o'clock. So I know that definitely added to my anxiety. But uh, when I found out, I was like, okay, I already know what I have to take. Um, one thing that I've been taking is uh, CBD. I'm a big, big... Uh, I mean, you can say advertiser, advocate, whatever for CBD. I've always liked CBD. Um, I give it to my mom. My mom loves CBD. Uh, one time she took it on accident. She didn't realize what it was because I, ha- I had them in little jars, uh, gummies, especially gummies in the refrigerator. And she had some. And then she realized that, you know, I asked her one day. And she's like, oh, she uh, if she took her medicine, she said, no, I feel good. I feel this, this and this. And then that's when she tells me that she took some of my uh, gummies. And then I ended up telling her what they were and what were they made out of. She <laughs> she didn't say anything, but she said she did feel so ever since then. I've been trying to, I always try to buy some, always have some in the house. And now with this, with my um, anxiety that I was going through and all this shit, uh, I've been taking it daily, especially in the mornings. As soon as I wake up, I like doing the the, the drops under the tongue, the sublingual ones. Really like those. I do the, I still, I like doing the gummies too, just because I feel like the more you have, it can last a little bit longer because you're not using it as often. But that's one thing I definitely highly recommend for anybody, you know, whether it's depression, anxiety, um, overall health or other men- m- mental things. Or maybe for, I know it has a positive for cancer, also for pain management and, and other stuff. I highly recommend for anybody to do an extensive research on it to really know more about it. And um and yet, in uh, there's certain there's certain places that you can buy CBD. There's some there's some companies that sell CBD pretty expensive. Um, I don't like buying any anything above like eighty bucks for a, a jar. It, it also depends on the milligrams. But right now, uh, there's a few places I do recommend. One is called CBD Fit Recovery. Um, I have purchased some of their some of the, some of their their stuff, and it's it is it's good. Also, they they go through I believe Sezzle or Afterpay, one or the other, where whatever your total is, they divide it by four payments. You know, once you do that four pay the the first payment, your your order starts to get processed, so you don't have to wait till you pay it off to receive your order. You get it after the very initial payment. So it, let's say if you purchase it on a Sunday or Saturday, most likely you'll get it uh, that week on a Friday, Saturday, or of next week. But uh, I highly recommend it. You know, uh, this company has um, has the tinctures, it has the full broad, the the broad spectrum, the full spectrum. It has uh, you can buy the vapes too, the CBD vapes. So if you're a vapor, you can you can take your CBD that way. Also, they also have um, some of the hemp. Um, the pre rolls. They also have uh, the um, muscle rubs, the bombs, and all that. So definitely give them a give them a, a look up. And, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm not affiliated with them or nothing. But this this is a company that I highly do recommend to to get products from. But um, but yeah. So hopefully now from. Uh, Every Sunday, I'm going to be trying to knock out a few episodes this same day. So I'm hoping uh, I can get at least uh, at least three or four recorded so I can just start moving them and doing stuff like that. But another oh, another thing I wanted to talk about is um, 
uh, like I said earlier, like sometimes you just got to dive into to stuff and um, don't don't dwell too much. Don't try to think on things. Just just dive into it. Uh, I'm finally, hopefully, but oh, God willing, this year I'll be going back to school. Um, finally did my registration so I can pay off the, my final my final fines that I have. Because I think it's only oh, like 500 bucks. And to be honest, I probably could have paid them earlier. But I fucking lagged it and that's my fault. But you know what? Things happen for a reason. I don't think I'll change it. Because, you know, I've met some 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 really nice, some beautiful, beautiful people, beautiful souls from the time that I stopped going to school till now. So I don't think, to be honest, I would change anything. I think I'd, I'd still keep the same road. So hopefully I'm looking at Bakersfield or Los Angeles to transfer to. I uh, really love this, the CSU Bakersfield, the campus. I went there one time when I was like 19, when I first moved to California. And I, I like the campus. Uh I'm hoping to go look at it again over the summer, but we'll see what the whole Corona thing. But definitely go with the CSU Bakersfield. They have a really, really awesome political science program I was doing research on and uh, see if I get accepted uh, when I, or should I say, you know what, more when I get accepted there, because I know I'm going to get accepted there. And, and then I'm going to shoot for Northridge, CSU Northridge and CSU Fullerton in Los Angeles. I know I'm going to get accepted there. Now, when I do, I'm just going to have to really think on the move because I really don't want to live in L.A. for every week like that. I really just don't want to live there. I, I, I would love to rent a room or just have my own apartment there, but just be there maybe two or three times a week and then still come back over here and, and do work and do other things. But uh, I'm going to cross the bridge when I get there. We'll see how everything goes. But guys, um, keep your guys' hustle on. And definitely, uh, I really highly recommend The Power of I Am to Joel Osteen. It is really uh, a self of, um, uh, I forgot what they say. I think the word is called self uh, affirmation or something like that. Not only that, but what I really enjoy about this book is um, he not only mixes in um, the Bible into it, like especially Bible stories and all that, he also, uh, there's also um, mixes anecdotal evidence, especially from people he knows. And not only that, but. Um, one thing that definitely life has uh, taught me this year is just because you don't like somebody doesn't mean you still can't benefit from them, um, especially with knowledge, you know, or sometimes money. You know, if, if I had a chance to make a hundred million dollars with somebody I don't like, i am be honest, I'm going to like them because I need I want those hundred mil. <laughs> but, you know, let, let, let's learn how to be more forgiving, more stuff like more, more forgiving like that. man. I feel that that would definitely change the world. Especially now in these fucking times of coronavirus, bro. Or show, um, yeah, especially in these times where, you know, I feel like everything happens for a reason. I'm not much of a conspiracy theory. A lot of people say this was released by the government, it is, or work for this. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm the type of person that says, yeah, that could be true. But also, I also know nature itself. I know a little bit of science. I know a little bit of uh, the evolution rate of bacteria, virus, or co cross contamination from different animals. Where they say Corona uh, did did uh, originate from China, you know. Especially, especially they say it was from some meat market, and they say that meat market. Uh, there's a lot of different type of animals, and there's really no like uh, there's no safety net. So every like the blood from these animals all mixed together and. It definitely, you know, that could have been a start where it started. Who really knows until research shows where it first started. But I believe there's some kind of uh, conspiracy to get chips implanted into people. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to call bullshit on that. Because in order for stuff like this to happen, it has to be controlled. I'm going to tell you this. Nature cannot be controlled. People want to say the weather can be controlled. Weather cannot be controlled because if that was the case, we wouldn't have hurricanes anymore. We wouldn't have tornadoes anymore. We wouldn't have tsunamis anymore. We wouldn't have anything anymore. Simple as that. If they can control the weather, we wouldn't have no more disasters, no more money to be spent on repairs. None of that shit. But guess what? We can't control nature because can nature is uncontrollable. Nature will always show its hand above us saying, you can't control me. And it's true. We can't. So to say that this virus is is what is, is controlled by the government, I'm gonna be honest. How do you control something you can't see? How do you control something you cannot see? You cannot see with the naked eye. Please tell me that. How do you control it? 
Because if you can control that, maybe we can control AIDS. Maybe we can control all this other stuff, all these other things. Cancer. Oh, not, and don't get me started on cancer. You know, people want to say, uh, oh, government has a cure to cancer. It's possible. But also, I kind of I don't believe it. At first, I thought they did, but now I don't. Because I'm going to tell you this. If you do further research to cancer, cancer is your own body killing you. It is your own cells killing you. It is a cancerous cell that has multiplied and multiplied and multiplied and multiplied multiple times in your body. And that cell could have been through, could have been damaged through maybe food you ate, electronics, you know, because your phone gives off radiation, laptop gives off radiation, your car, a lot of things give up radiation that damage our cells. But also having a healthy lifestyle can help repair those cells quicker where maybe you know it just it's just a lot of things I'm, I'm no scientist either guys you can do the research yourself but i'm just saying do i believe there's a cancer cure no because it's your own body killing you how do you stop your own body from killing you when it gets to that moment when you're when that cancer cell has uh, multiplied multiple times please explain that to me right there how do you stop your own body from killing you I don't control my body. All I control is my movements, some of my thoughts, because some some thoughts I really don't control. You know, that's the only thing I control. I don't control my heart. I don't tell my heart to beat. My heart just beats. I don't tell my kidneys to work. They just work. I don't tell my lungs to breathe. I just breathe and they take in air. We, we, we can, a body is a machine we really don't control. We just give it the fuel. And we control certain aspects. But other than that, my body can can fail me at any moment right now. It's that simple. My body can fail me right now. My brain can fail me. My kidneys can fail me right now. I don't control that. But because of the food I eat and um, I try to stay healthy, drink a lot of water, my body responds with to that by letting me continue to live, by, by working well, by by functioning properly. You know, and don't get me. And also, I wanted to say, because I also said the thing, I've been hearing a lot of that conspiracy about the 5G uh, towers and all that. Eh, it's, you know, it's believable. But I'm going to tell you this, please. And I want somebody to and, and just think about this, though. There's only five countries that have 5G towers. No, I don't think it's five. I think it's five or eight countries that have 5G towers. Yet 183 countries have coronavirus. Please explain that to me. If 5G was responsible for corona, shouldn't only five or eight countries have corona? Explain that to me. Por favor. That means please in Spanish. But guys, this was a nice little rant. Uh, again, it's, it's Easter. Happy Easter. Stay safe. Don't do anything crazy. Stay with your loved ones. Stay indoors. Don't don't go out if you don't need to, all right? Don't be selfish. You don't need to go to fucking Starbucks just because you're at your fucking house. If you're not working, don't go anywhere. Stay there, all right? There's a lot of selfish people where, oh, I'm just going to go this. I haven't done anything. Fuck, learn how to stay home, all right? Learn how to stay home. We keep Sometimes we keep animals in cages. You know what? Maybe this is life showing us how fucking cruel we can be. Maybe life is, is, is trying to teach the whole world a lesson. Maybe there's no conspiracy. It's just really nature and the world giving us a fucking lesson. Telling us where our errors are. It is it, it is completely that simple. But still be safe. If you don't like me, I don't care. I still love you. If you hate me, I don't care. I still love you. If you love me, well, I fucking love you even more than I love them. <laughs> no, but serious. I love you guys. And, uh, you know, as always, greatness is one day at a time. Let's get there Keep that fucking work up. Whatever you're doing is going to pay off. If you're listening and you're putting in that work, it's going to pay off at a moment. It's going to pay off in time. It may not pay off tomorrow, a year, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. But keep that grind up because every dog has his day. And that day is coming for you. You are going to have the wealth, the prosperity you want. But you got to keep working. Keep that hustle up.